that's the first. The second to you today, uh, now is how we can query a remote Sparkle endpoint. So a proper Sparkle endpoint. Let me clear my screen first, and then I go back to the code examples and the uh, the keyword we use now to to query a Sparkle endpoint is the service keyword. Yes, if you notice from here, if you notice from here. The from keyword is actually outside the where clause, yeah? Whereas when we want to query a Sparkle endpoint, we use the keyword service and it's actually placed inside the where, key, uh, the where clause. The rest of it is just the same. Don't worry about what, what we're actually querying here. I just want you to learn the syntax of it. So we query that Sparkle endpoint, which is available from DBpedia. Place it in uh, angle brackets with the keywords uh, with service keyword and then notice that now the uh, uh, actually I have what we learned before which is a subquery so we have service keyword and then a subquery for that to get the results if I just save that because I just you know moved it around and if I run that now it's uh, ex167 if I run it again um, EX167 run it I'm sorry data set not specified 167 isn't it 167 uh, there's no need for me to specify data set here because I'm actually querying remote. but let's just cheat and give it anything really let's say for example minus minus data and then say because we are in Sparkle let's use for example X041 EX041 dot TTL Oh, it's complaining that it's not found. How come? Let's just have another look. Slash Sparkle and then EX041 dot Turtle. It's taken a while. It's because actually it's actually querying the online data set. So what I've done is I've actually cheated because it was actually asking for a data set. I just told it, oh, look, use this data set, but it's not actually using it. It's actually querying the actual uh, um, Sparkle endpoint available from um, DBpedia. I mean, if, just to uh, make things more legible, let's lim limit the results to let's say just to triple and then run it again it's taken a while because it's contacting the sparkle endpoint and you can see here we've only got two hits because or two sort of uh, rows in our result set because I said here yeah, limited to two results so how that makes sense we're using the actual sparkle endpoint from DBpedia and the query is taken a while is because it's actually contacting that endpoint and because uh, uh, R complained about data, we just cheated and gave it any data file really just to uh, make it work. In fact, what we can do here is we can copy the code, copy the code, copy and paste it into our uh, Jena Foseki server in the run query here and then try to run it. It's taken a while again because we're contacting the Sparkle endpoint on, on, on DBpedia and again we get the exact results here as you can see. I hope you're enjoying this. Thank you very much indeed for watching and I'll see you next time.